Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, yes, good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Good morning, yeah, my, sir. my name is Mr. Mwangi. I'll be ha I'll be having you this unit. I think this is your first okay. semester. Is it true? This is your first semester. Yes. Yeah, I'll be taking through this unit. Yeah, every time we'll be having it uh, every Tuesday from 11 to 2 p.m. Yeah, in case of any issue, yeah, you can last with me. I'll be taking you through this unit together. Yes, sir. I'm, and I'm so grateful that you're able to log in the first day together. I'm so grateful. Yeah, so today we can have the introduction of this unit. We can have the introduction of this unit. And actually now, I see it is one of the simplest units. One of what the simplest units. I'm so grateful you have made a decision to have ICT. So in this unit now, you must have a positive attitude. You must have what? A positive, positive. attitude. Then still, you have to work smart. You have to do what? You have to work smart. And every time you have to keep God fast. Right together. Yes, sir. Yeah, in this unit. They are very, very simple unit. I think you are you able to see how first the course outline. Were you able to see the course outline? Have yes. you seen it? Yes. So that is the course outline. And then I hope you are able to see my contact, even my email address. So in case you have any query, you can just call me or you can just even send me a message together. Yes. Yeah, then uh, I still have posted the notes. Have you seen them? Yes, for introduction. Yeah, I've posted that we are we'll going to the introduction for today together. I've posted them. In case of anything, feel free to contact me together. Then for us, there is a group we have created with the uh, care. I hope you join it together. Yes. Yeah. So that now you can start now. Even before I go to the introduction, maybe I want to hear from you what is ICT according to you. Because now you made a decision to have it to, to be an ICT. So you must be doing something about ICT. So let me start with Esther. What is ICT according to you? Because you made a decision to have to take ICT. What is according to you? What is ICT? Or what are your expectations in ICT, Esther? What are your expectations in ICT? Esther? All care. What are your expectations in ICT? What are your expectations first in ICT? Okay, so as for me, ICT. Yeah. Uh, I want to learn how to. Okay. It's, it's this with computers. Yeah. Uh, like uh, like as for me want to to learn how to 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 work with softwares yeah, to work with softwares uh, that is good i think that is a good objective yeah because yeah. i believe now maybe maybe you want in, in the future want to be an ict administrator you want to be a system analyst a programmer together yeah that is yeah, good. So you can see you can see you have basically about ict what else do you know about this ict uh, Mm. The ICT. Yeah. Yeah, proceed. And then from ICT. Yeah. You can, yes, now you can know how to deal with computers, maybe. Yeah, the computers, that is good. What about a stack in what, what are oh, according to you because of the decision to be an ICT? What are your expectations or what do you know about ICT, yes, sir? Esther, what about you? And maybe we can start now. When we hear the term ICT, actually now ICT, it entails three things. It entails information, communication, and what? And techno, technology. It entails three things. We have the uh, information, we have communication, we have techno, technology. So ICT now, this is the technology required for information processing. The technology required for what? Information proce processing. Now, ICT actually, it entails the use of computers, we have communication devices, we have software to convert, store, protect, process, transmit, and retrieve information anywhere, any time. So ICT it entails of technology, and you have some devices that must be in use for us to have ICT. And you have said some of these, some of these devices have computers. We must have a computer in ICT. We must have what? Telephone systems, we must have other devices like servers. That is what I see. I see that technology used for what information process processing. Because initially now you have data. This data must be processed to have what information information. And for us now to process the data, we must have a computer. A computer. And you have said a computer is one of the devices used in what in IC ICT. So I hope you have understood that. Okay, yeah. Yes. You have seen ICT it entails what? The technology required for what processing the information and information and we have said we have some devices that must be in place 
in ICT. We have said we have what? Compute computers. For us to have information now, we have convert now that data to information, information by using a compute, a computer. Other devices we have in ICT, we have said we have uh, the servers. For example, your information here is stored in a what? In a web server, web server, or the information is stored in a database star, server. So you must have what? A, a server. That is what you call IC, ICT. Now, what is now information? Because you have said ICT, it entails the rewards. You have information, you have communication, you have what? Techno, technology. Now, what is information now? Now, information, this has the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study or research. But there's what? Information, information. The knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study or, what? or research. For example, like now you are, maybe for example, in a class now, you are getting what? Information, information. And that information, it must be it must be used by people in organization to help them in what? Decision making. That's what. We have used information now to help us in what? Decision making. For example, you are obtaining information through research, for example, in case I give you an assignment, you have to go to the internet and do some more, some more research. That is what information, yes. information. Still, when you're in class, you gain what information, information from the lecturer. That is what we call informal information. Yes. Yes. And for example, we can use a, we can use the same thing. For example, we can have a, a, an uh, an analogy. For example, the researchers now. They can able to detect the formation of a tsunami by using what latest technology. For example, maybe, 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 for example, maybe, maybe like uh, 10 years ago, in the case there was a tsunami somewhere, yeah, that information was kept in a, in, a, in a server. So the scientists can can be able to determine the trend of a tsunami of some of, of a tsunami. Right? The information is in a, in a, in a server. That's good. Yes. Because yes. The information is the knowledge. It helps us to do what? To fulfill our daily tasks. The information is a knowledge and help us to fulfill our daily tasks. For example, you can forecast the stock exchange market. Is it true? Can you, can you forecast? Can you forecast that? Excuse me, sir. Yes. You have said information is the knowledge used to. You have said information is the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study, or research. Okay. Yeah. And now we have some tools which can be used to transmit information. For example, we have the, the television, is it true? We have the television, we have the telephone, and we have the radio. For example, in case now, maybe I'm a news anchor. Or maybe, for example, I'm a, maybe I'm working somewhere, and I want to send some information. I can either decide to ask that information by using what a telephone. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Or yes. decide to use what the media, the television, or I use what the radio. The radio. So these are some okay. of the tools that can be used to transmit information. Information. We have said that information is a knowledge and help and help us do it to fulfill our daily tasks. That is what we call informal information. Yeah. Now another abbreviation is what we call communication. We have communicate communication. What is communication? Yes, communication is the act of transmitting messages. The act of transmitting messages. Remember. This information has to be exchanged between different ED individuals. It has to be exchanged between different ED individuals. You can decide now to exchange this information either by using, uh, you can use a telephone, that is one tool. Still, you can exchange by using what? Email, or what you call electronic mail. Still, you can decide to exchange this information by using what you call video conference, conferencing. Like now, you're having what? Video conferencing. You're having video conference, conferencing. I am exchanging information, or I am passing information from me to my student, my students through what we call video conference, conferencing. That is communicate communication, a mechanism of exchanging information, information between different parties or individuals. Any question at that point? No, no, sir. A mechanism. Yeah, we have said for the notes. You 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 write them. I think they have posted them. I think don't, don't, don't worry about them. I think them. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, we have said that communication. It is that act or that mechanism act. of that act. Trans yes. yes, of transmitting. Yes, of transmitting a message. Yeah, for transmitting what a message. And you have said 
you can we have some tools which can be used what to exchange the information or the message you have said you can use the, what the email yes you can use the internet still yes. you can use what we call video conferencing like what are you having now you're having a video conference conferencing together yes yeah, that is what we call communicate communication now the last abbreviation in ict there is what we call technology we have the term what techno technology because now technology is the driving force for this world is it true i think everything now nowadays has used technology everything is not automated automated so what is technology technology now it is the use of scientific knowledge the use of what scientific knowledge experience and resources to create processes we have said the use of scientific knowledge experience and resources to create processes and products that fulfill the human needs let me just repeat that scientific knowledge experience and resources to create processes and products that fulfill the human needs because you have said technology is vital in communicate the communication for example some of the some of the technologies we have we can have video conferencing the technology still have for example even the mobile communication that is what a techno technology that was scientific knowledge but you must use what certain resources that is what you call techno technology any question at that point any question now in the case now you ask not to explain information technology remember you have ict and you have what in information techno technology information technology is the application of computers and telecommunication equip equipment information technology the application of computers and telecommunications equipment to store retrieve transmit and manipulate data in context of a big of a business that application of computers the reason we are saying we must store Remember, the information is in in using a computer computer we have what we call the input captures for example in case you want to key information the computer then use the keyboard the true have the keyboard Yeah, you have the keyboard. Akini. Yes, Kaya, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. We are saying that for you to, to store the information on a computer, you must key in the data. Or you must input yes. the data. Which devices do you key in the data? In a, in a computer, you can use what you call the keyboard. You can have yes. a key, the keyboard. We can have keyboard. the mouse. You can have the. Yes. You can use the mouse. You can use what yeah. a digital camera to key in the information. The information. Once mm -hmm. you key the information, the computer processes that information, that data, that what that day, that data. The, Once it's yeah. processed, we have yeah. what you call yeah. information. Information. What call information. That information has to be stored. It has to be what stored. In a computer, we must have the devices which are used to store the information for example there's a memory there's a what there's a, me a memory Mem yeah we have the mini memory and we have the external storage Mem that together yes sir yeah we have the mini memory and we have the external storage so once the information is stored it is analyzed there's what analyzed okay. and later it can be retrieved and disseminated or it is retrieved and distributed to the members of the organization or other members in the business enterprise to help them with what in decision may making. Make yeah, yeah, that is what you call information technology, that application of computers and telecommunication equipment. Any question or any clarification? No. No, sir. Yeah, no, that sir. Is I'm okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that is good I'm okay then, then then you can discuss now some terminologies which are used in ICT. some what some terminologies I think you have some, yeah some terminologies used in ICT. I hope you have come across the term hardware somewhere in ICT, yes, yes. if you come yeah. across the term hardware there's the term software we have the term information we have the term data output output, output captures so the first 
know that you come across the exotic code hardware. We have both the hard the hardware. For example, a computer has some hardware, it has a mouse, it's a hardware. Keyboard is yes. a what? A hardware. The monitor is a what? A hardware. So what is the hardware? Hardware, these are the physical and tangible compound components of a computer, a computer. The physical yes. and tangible oh. components of a computer, a computer. You can feel them, you can touch them. You have said you have what? The key? The keyboard. You have mouse. the mouse. We have the monitor, we have the system you unit. System unit. Yeah, the physical, the tangible compo component. Okay. That is what is called hardware. Yes. Now, a computer or the computer hardware cannot operate without the computer software. Understood? Yes, sir. So, what is now the software? Now, software is now, these are the set of programs or instructions. They are a set of programs or instructions that govern the use in the control of a compute computer. There are a set of programs or instructions that govern the use in the control of a compute of a computer. Now, some of the, some of the software we, we must have in a computer, we must have the operating system. I believe everyone, I believe everyone is using a computer. Is it true? Wayne, are you using a computer now? Okay, are you using a computer? What about Esther? No, I believe now in that computer there must be a software. For example, in case you're using a computer, we have what we call an operating system like Windows 7, we can have Windows 10, we can have Windows 8.1. That is what the software. And now that computer must be having other softwares. These softwares we call them what application pro programs. We call them application pro programs. These are the programs that help the end user in performing what is his or her day to day tasks. These are what application software is. And now for this application software, they must be installed within a system software. We'll come across come. these technologies later. Yeah. So I hope you understood the difference between a computer hardware and a computer software. Understood? Yes. I'm losing you. Yes. I can't. I can't hear you properly. Or yeah, maybe there is a problem with my maybe your net, but now you can hear me very well. Yes. And that terminology yes. is what we call the data. We have the day, the data. No, what is data? This is the raw fact that has no meaning. That, that have no what? They have rest me, rest meaning. And you key in this data by using what the key, the keyboard. And you must be knowing now. The component, not of the components, the part of a keyboard. Remember, in a keyboard, we have what the typing keys. Is it true? Yes. The, the typing yeah. is ready from A to Z. A to, uh, a to Z. Yeah, sometimes you, 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 can, you can say Z, but I prefer using A to Z. Not together. Okay. Then, yeah, these are called, yeah, these are called typing keys. And you see now, okay, you have to, don't say A to Z, okay, you say A to. Uh, it is together. Yes. yes. Then the same same keyboard. It can it can have uh, the numerical keys. It can have what the numerical keys. keys. Now, for this, yeah. The range from what zero to nine. Are together. Yes. yes. Then in the, in the same same keyboard, it can have uh, what you call the functional keys. The range from F one to F twelve. Yes. Yeah. So come with. Yeah. These keys now they used to key in. It is the computer, the computer. We'll come across them later. These are just the terminology. Then, another terminology is what you call information. You have what you call information, and we can discuss information. Is that true? Yeah. We have said that information refers to the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study, or research. But still, you can say information, this is a processed data. This is what the process data that has a meaning. It is the process data that has what I mean, a meaning. That is what you call mm -hmm. information. Information. You have said we use this information to help in decision making. Now what in a business enterprise. Then another technology you can 
kama cross exotic code input captures yeah. input captures now these are the devices that are used to keep in data into the computer computer devices computer. used to keep in data mm -hmm. in the computer and you have said you have all the key the keyboard you have digital cameras you can even use what the ma the mouse so together these are what input captures then you have output captures now this is the device is that output information from the compute computer devices that output information from the compute computers for example you can have the monitor you can have the speed the speakers yeah, understood yes then we have the term system we have what the term system we have the term system I hope you have come across the term system every day you hear about a system like now if it, all, the, all the information here is hosted in a whole in the system now what is a system a system it is a set of integrated components that work together to achieve a defined object objective a set of integrated components or sometimes you can say a set of what integrated components that work together to achieve what a defined object objective you can have computer systems you can have what human man the human what medicine systems that is what i say a system now we have what we call an information system we have a system and then we have what an information system although the system and the information system they are related but now it is an information system it is a set of interrelated components that correct that collect correct process analyze store retrieve and distribute the information to help in what decision making that set of interrelated components that correct process analyze store retrieve and distribute the information to help in decision making that is what we call an information system any question on that I think I have posted the difference between a system and an information system. That is what we call an information system. Then we have a terminology. We have the life wire now. We have the life wire. We have this terminology. We just type it. That terminology. Now, what is the life wire now? This represents the users of information. In a what? In the computer system. The users of the information in a what? In a computer system. Now, who are the users of information systems? Or who are the users of this information? We are the you, we are the users together. For example, you can have uh, system administrators, you can have programmers, you can have uh, the normal users, you can have system and analysts. They represent their life where well, the users of information as well as what? The ICT equipment. So these are some of the terminologies that come across them in what in ICT. Now, which are these ICT equipment we have? Now, or what are these equipment? One of the equipment is what we call we have a telephone. We have what a te a telephone. It's and now the purpose of a telephone now it is used to convey information or to pass information from one person to another per person right, together. Yes. yes. Uh, or we can say a telephone is that what is that system. For transmitting what sound or speech to a distant four point that system for transmitting sound or speech to a distant point that is what we call a, te a telephone then another component or another equipment is what we call a photocopy machine a photocopy machine machine yeah. you have some across them is it true now which is this machine this is an instrument that uses what you call the light sensitive photographic material an instrument that uses light sensitive photographic material to produce written printed or graphic work it is able to produce a copy, a copy of, the, of the information for example in the case you have a document and you want to obtain another copy of that document you use what a photocopy machine machine it uses light sensitive photographic material that is what a photocopy machine machine another component or another equipment is what you call a computer and I have discussed what is a computer. A computer is a device that 
accept information, accept what information, information. Once they accept the information, it is able to be processed, analyzed, stored, and manipulated in order to have what I mean. I mean, remember, this information is kept in, in that computer, computer because we see that that computer must be having what I mean, a memory. So it is that device that can accept information, information, and this information, for it to be accepted by the computer, it must be digital. It must be what they digital. And so, in the sense of the computer, can manipulate the information, the information. That is what a computer, a computer. And now a computer must use what? The power, it must use electric power. Another component in ICT is what you call a fax machine. They are what you call a fax machine. Although nowadays, I, I, I don't think now, nowadays they are used. Do we use fax machine nowadays? Yeah, do we use them? Yeah, do we use, do we use them nowadays? Yeah. What about a king? Now, when we talk about the fax machine now, this, actually, there's a device for transferring documents, for drawings, or, or photographs in order they can be reproduced elsewhere. That device for transmitting documents, drawings, photographs, or even travel documents. Then now they can be reproduced elsewhere. That is what you call a fax machine, a fax machine. Yeah, I think you are away. Have you understood the fax machine? No. Yes. Have you understood the fax machine? Yes. Yeah, another, another device or another computer called a printer. We have what we call a print a printer. You know what is a printer? A printer. This is a paper device that is used to print documents. That is what you want to print do documents. That is what you call a print a printer. And now we have types of printers. We have what types of print printers. Or we can say that a printer is that device that can be used to produce produce a hard copy of the information that device that can be used to produce a hard copy of the information of the information we have types of printers we have what types of print printers for example there is what you call the laser printer we have what the laser printer we have the laser printer we have the laser printer now actually now these printers now they're the fastest is compared to other pre printers very really, very fast actually a printer can be can produce even 200 copies within a minute but now the only limitation of these printers they are very very expensive very very exp expensive but in the case now you want to put a document having a good color or high quality graphic you can use what you call there is a pre printer very really, very fast it's printing but it is exp expensive that is what it called a laser printer. Then okay. we have some printers called the inject printers. We have inject. Inject. Ink. We have inject printers. Now still, these printers now they are fast in printing, but they are not as fast as what? These are print printers. The inject printers. Very, very fast in printing, but not as fast mm -hmm. as what? There is a print printer. It's a bit expensive, but now they produce less noise, and still they are able to print what color. color. I think I've ever gone to a maybe to a cyber, and you want to and you want a document to be printed. Is that true? Some yes. printers print yeah. colored, and some print what black and white. Is it true? Yes. Yeah. So because now we have types of printers. Maybe maybe not the, maybe maybe the document maybe the document was printed using what you call an inkjet or a data printer. Why? It is able to print what color. Then we have some printers called the basic wheel printers. We have the basic wheel printers. We have the basic wheel pre printers. Yes. Now these printers produce a lot of noise. They do what? Produce a lot of noise. Noise. Still. They are, they, are less, they are less expensive and very slow in printing, very slow in print, printing. You cannot okay. trust uh, a digital printer to print 20 copies in one minute. You cannot trust it. You cannot print. You cannot what? Print? Print. 
And even, even if it is able to print now, if you look at the quality of that hard copy document or that printout, it's very, very little. So it has what? Low quality output or printout. Yes. It has what? Low quality printout. Then there is another printer called the dot matrix printer. You have the dot matrix. matrix. Yeah. Have it have. Just wait to that. You have the dot matrix printer. Now, after this one, now it is our white. Very slow in printing, very noisy, and its printout is very poor. You cannot take a document printed using a dot matrix. That's good. So, as you pre, as, as you go to a cyber, you have to ensure, in case you want a good document, which, is, which has color, you can use a race or what, inkjet print printer. But in case now, you want to save on cost. You can go for the dot matrix, but you have said the limitations of this printer is what very slow printing, very noisy, and the printout is very poor. Have you understood that the printer? Understood the printer? Yes, sir. Care, what about care? In care. Yes, are we together? Okay. Any question? Aki, any question? Now, the next area I want to discuss on the introduction, I want to now, what are the uses of ICT? I want to discuss now the uses of ICT. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. Oh, that is that, that is good. That is good. That is it is good you respond here. Yeah. Because some babies can be out of network. Okay, together. Now I want to discuss yeah. now at least I've said maybe a similar introduction to ICT. Okay, together. I want to discuss yeah. now the use of ICT. And I want now this area to be interactive. We want interact interactive. The uses of, of ICT. And now yeah. one of the uses of ICT has been used in education. And the ICT is playing a remarkable role in the education sector. We teachers or we lecturers, we use ICT to research for what for teaching materials. Is that true? Yes. That you as a student, you can use ICT as a reference tool. Why? For example, in case of the, in case I give an assignment, you can use the internet, look for the information, and you submit. So you can use it as a what? It's a reference to tool. Still, some nowadays, like now, in, in, like now, what you're having, you're having e-learning. You're having what e-learning, e electronic word learning. Is it true? Yes. It has incorporated the use of what IC, ICT. Okay. So what about now? You now you give me another area that ICT has helped in education. We have said it can be used for education. education. We have said yes. it can be used for what digital learning. Still, we have said you can use it as a reference tool. Still, you can use the ICT to search for what? For teaching materials. Okay, what else have ICT helped in, help in education? I want to hear from you, what else? Mm. What, okay, what else? like, want... can you say in agriculture? Hmm? Yeah, I want to explain. Using computerized agricultural equipments. Yeah. Uh, using, you can use the internet to, you can use the internet to um, maybe to research information about maybe agricultural products right together. Yeah, still you actually researchers nowadays they're using ICT to collect the data and process the same the same same data. Still, school administrators they rely on ICT to store the information. Like now, all your information is kept in a what in a certain database server that is in what in educate education. Understood. 
So I've been a student in education. Now, what about now ICT in banking? Have ICT in banking care? I want to explain now. What, how has ICT helped in, helped in the banking industry care? Yeah. Now, in terms of banking now, ICT controls the entire banking system that entails the electronic banking services. Actually, ICT is an result, the nerve center of the banking system around the world. The customers use ICT to make transactions at 24 hour service centers. Still, the business people can use ICT to save their time by using what the online services. Instead of now going to back to the bank, you can have a lot of a lengthy queue. You can access the same same bank via online. So business people are able to access or to save their money via what online services. Still, the bank administrators they use ICT to control the entire banking system. For example, the creation of accounts, the protection of users, passwords and accounts. That is the work of the what of the bank administrators. They have to rely on the use of what IC ICT. Understood the bank have you understood the banking industry? Okay, have you understood the use of ICT in the banking industry? Yes, I've understood. Yeah, that is good. Uh, now, another area used in ICT, there is what we call the e-commerce. We have the e-commerce, e or what we call the online shopping. Nowadays, you can just buy an item online. You don't have to yes. be at home, is it true? For example, you can have, uh, we have uh, some websites some websites that offer e-commerce. You can have Jumi, is it true? That is good. Yes. You can have Kilimall, yes. Amazon, we have DigiK. Yeah, they provide the what e-commerce together. So yes. the buying and the selling of goods via the internet is known as what e-commerce. The what? buying and selling of goods via the use of what internet. Remember, there is a difference between an internet and a network. You're gonna be having a network, but there is no internet. Internet. Understood. Understood. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So e-commerce yes. it has it has helped in boosting the economy. Like now. During this epidemic, everything is online. Is that so? Yes. It yes. True? Yeah, no, no. yes. Everything is online. You, in case you, in case you want to buy a TV set, in case you want to buy a laptop, just go and you press an order in June. Yeah, together. Then payment is after what? The the river together. So the e-commerce it makes the buying and the selling activities easier and far and faster. That e-commerce it, it makes the buying and the selling activities easier and what and far and faster. Actually, customers they use ICT to connect or to interact with other suppliers of what the same same pro product. For example, in the case you want to interact with the with the supplier of a TV set in Jumia, you're gonna access him on Is it true? Yes. Still, yes. the suppliers can use ICT to keep track of their transactions. Still, in, even in your case as a customer. For example, in case you buy an item online and you and you made the trans and you made some payments online, you can log into that account and you see on this date I bought this product. This was the cost. The shipping cost was this. Is it true? Yes. Yeah, because now all this information is being kept in a certain word, in a certain database, or in a certain word, some server. Yeah. That is the use of ICT in what in e-commerce. Then still, we can use the same same technology in the health industry or in the health sector. Now, I want now you to explain now how can we use the ICT in the health sector, Akiji? Maybe you can explain to us now how can we use ICT in the health sector, Akiji? Akiji. Esther. What about care? How can we use ICT in the health sector? How can we use it? Okay, so ask me. Uh, yeah. Can use ICT in the health sector like like the doctors use the internet to research on uh to research on cure of some diseases. Yes. 
and to search on yeah q1 and then yeah. to search on yeah that is a, that is a good try what about esther esther yes yeah i would now you explain to us now the use of ict in the health sector how uh, information do you have about the use of ict in the health sector just give us some few areas hmm? you do you know any information esther in the health sector now in, uh, in terms of the health sector now ICT applications have been very, very efficient or variable resources in the medical field. Why? The reason we are saying they have been very, very variable resources. They able to support the efficient exchange of information between the health professionals. Still, the same, same ICT, they enable the transfer of patient records from one department to another de department. We have seen they support the efficient exchange of information between the health professionals. Still, they have enabled the transfer of patient records from one department to another de department. Still, you can use ICT. ICT has been used in what? In scanning. For example, there is what you call the CT scan. They use what? IC? ICT. Still, ICT has been used to organize the different what diseases. Still, some health professionals can use the same some ICT to research or to obtain information on how. You can cure certain what this is. This is that these are the benefits of having ICT in what in the health sector. Because, for example, the information about the pain, about the patients, they are stored in what in a database. Understood? Yes. Yeah. What about now? What is the use of ICT in communication now? Yes, that. What is the use of ICT in communication? What is the, what is the use of ICT in communication? People can chat. Where would you just give us some, some platforms? Yes? yes, I can't hear you. We have how can people chat? What about care? Yeah, you can use ICT for communicate communication. We have various chat groups. You can use the email, you can use the social media sites. For example, you can have the Facebook, you can have the WhatsApp to what, communicate, communicate. And actually, now, when you are using the social networking sites, there are ships, means of, of communicate, of communication. So, these are some of different uses of, of ICT in what in everyday life. What about now? What is the impact of ICT? What is the impact of ICT? Remember, the impact can be negative or, 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 or positive. Now, what is the impact of ICT in the society? I want to discuss now the impact of ICT in the society. The impact of, of ICT in the society. And you have said for this impact, it can either be positive or ne negative. Okay. Yeah. yeah, now the impact of IC, ICT. And one of the impacts is what you call, you can have a, a positive impact first. Then you can have what negative impact, and one of the positive impact is what you call reliable mode of communicate communication. And the first one, reliable mode of communicate communication. Computers are very reliable. Why? These computers are able to access all the internet, and the information could be accessed and retrieved from anywhere at any time. Computers are very reliable. We have seen since they're able to access the internet. The information can be accessed and retrieved from anywhere and any time. This is the reason it makes it a desired mode of communicate communication. Understood? Yes. Understood? Yes. But in case yes. now, what can happen now? In case now the server fails, in case the server fails now, the information cannot be retrieved. That's the first positive impact. Reliable mode of communication. Okay, communication. For example, in the case you want to access your email, you can access it from any computer computer. And as long as we have what good internet connect connection, then still you can have another positive impact. We have a lower communication cost. We have a lower communication cost. Lower communication cost. We have said when you're using the internet, actually the internet is very, very less expensive, very, very cheap. It's cost effective. It allows people to have access 
to large amounts of data at a very low cost. Understood the internet. It allows people to have access to large amounts of data at a very low cost. With the internet, we do not have to pay for the basic services provided by the internet. Actually, the cost of internet connection is very, very cheap. Understood? Yes. Yeah. That is the second positive impact, lower communication cost. See, there is what you call faster communication speed. Faster communication speed. Remember, long time ago, or maybe some years back, for example, in the case you wanted to communicate to uh, maybe a relative, you could have used the post office. You maybe, for example, you said uh, um, you send a document maybe on Monday, and that document will be, will be or maybe that person will pick it after 10 days. Is it true? And now, yeah. this took a lot of time to access messages or what, or any news. But now, since you're using the internet nowadays, it's very, very fast. You can send the same, same document or the same, same message by using the email. And that message will be received the same, same day or the same, same time, maybe after a few seconds. Is it true? So you're saying, when we're using the email, it is a faster communication mechanism. Even with the low bandwidth, still, you can access all the, e the email. And the email now, this is a lot of time and it will be very, 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 very cheap. But it's inexpensive. That is what's called faster communication speed we have. Faster communication speed. Then there is what you call paperless environment. We have what you call paperless env environment. We have paperless environment. Nowadays, we don't have to use a lot of papers or to put out of papers. Why? Everything is not automa automated. I see the technology has created the paperless environment. This is why the information has to be stored in digital mechanism or in digital format. For example, now, in the case I want to send a document to someone in Mombasa, I don't have to send the hard copy via the post office. I can just send what an email. So this, this is a what? A paperless environment? environment understood yes yeah so these are some of the positive impact of ICT in the society but now the same same ICT has created negative impact it has created what negative impact 